So here it is, a 1967 Chevy Camaro SS. This is a very original car. It's a one family owned car for the first 45 years and a gentleman purchased to restore it. He restored it, I'd say he didn't over restore it. There's a lot of things on this car that are very original. This is a fairly unique Camaro. The color first off is what sticks out the most for people. This color is Royal Plum, 3% or less of all Camaros. Actually had this color first year for the Chevy 350. SS 350, small block. First time the kids have gone for a ride in the new old Camaro. Also taking the car out to take some pictures and just drive on some country roads. to drive. You are not going to be driving this car and playing with the phone. You're not going to be drinking anything. You're not going to be smoking. Well, maybe in 67 they're smoking. This car takes a lot of attention. There's no power steering. There's no power brakes. It's a four-speed shifter, and it's a Muchi shifter, which if you read even the reviews back in 1967, it wasn't a great shifter back then, and by today's standards, this is a challenge to shift. You are driving this car all the time, but it just feels great. deluxe interior which is a little unusual headliners original seat upholstery covers are new but the springs and foam are all original so this car does not have the RS package but it also doesn't have the exterior package it does not have the chrome rings around the wheel fenders front or back and it does not have the chrome around the side windows that package was not a big option it wasn't expensive, but it also included a pinstripe, and a lot of people got it. Might have saved it from rusting because that chrome trim was a uh, means to collect water underneath. Deluxe interior, deluxe seat belts, tinted windows, four speed SS 350, so nothing that really added too much weight. So, one of the lightest Camaros ever built in 1967. 68, a few things were added to the suspension. Motor mounts to add weight. So this car, in shipping weight, actually 2,999 pounds. First and last time the Chevy SS ever stayed under 3,000 pounds. Also, it is a numbers matching car, but this is an early production 67 Camaro. The engine block is dated from November. Oh, and of course, there's the rear car seats. I've only taken this to one car show, but of all the things to get noticed on the car, I did not expect the car seat to get so much attention. It is pretty unusual. I don't see it very often, but just want to have the kids get an opportunity to enjoy a 67 Camaro. It gets warm in here unless we're moving, doesn't it? Yeah, I look forward to reading some of the comments. I think one of the things people will point out is it's not quite factory yet. Uh, it's got the rally rims. These are 15-inch rally rims. These are probably like a day two option back in 1967. But they're great looking rims and surprisingly expensive to replace. 
The black stripe is also not factory for this color. It should be a white stripe, but I think the black looks pretty good with this color. It's very subdued. It's a pretty good looking wet sand finish. It's got a few flaws in there, but that's a whole lot better than what you'd see coming out of the factory. How's the leg room? It's a little tight, isn't it? Do you like driving in the Camaro? Yeah. What's the best part about driving in the Camaro? You like the new seat belts that you put in? Yeah. There's still things I want to do to the car. I'll show you that as we go through the next year. We had the kids work on a couple of the projects with this car as well, and we'll show you that. All right, well, thanks for watching. We, of course, will have more videos and even some videos with uh, some work we're doing to the Camaro here over the next few months. We made it. Oh, oh. Welcome you out. Oh, I eat all mine. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.